professional education licensure for examination for professional teachers reviewer question 71 to 80 let's start Question number 71. The content of a good lesson plan is self-sufficient. This means that Letter A. The content be broad and treated thoroughly. Letter B. The content should help students learn how to learn. Letter C. The content should match with students' aptitude. Letter D. The content should be verifiable. You have 5 seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter B. The content should help students learn how to learn. A self-sufficient lesson plan not only covers the necessary material, but also equips students with the skills and strategies they need to learn independently. This means that the content is designed in a way that fosters critical thinking skills, problem solving, and the ability to apply knowledge in various contexts. This approach ensures that students can continue learning effectively even beyond the scope of the specific lesson. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 72. Which of the situations below is an example of diagnostic assessment? Letter A. 10 items test for specific concepts difficult to students. Letter B. Achievement test to grade 7 students. Letter C. Quiz at the end of the chapter in psychology. Letter D. Journal writing after discussion on a news commentary. You have 5 seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter A, 10 items test for specific concepts difficult to students. A diagnostic assessment is designed to identify students' existing knowledge, skills, and understanding of specific concepts often used to determine areas where students may need additional support or instruction. A 10-item test targeting specific difficult concepts is an example of this type of assessment. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 73. When is a distance education as effective as the traditional classroom? Letter A. When the method technologies and assessment use are appropriate to the required competencies. Letter B, when there is a student-to-student -student interaction. Letter C, when the course requires more face-to-face -face communication between the students and teachers. Letter D, when students depend on their online mentor. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter A, when the method, technologies, and assessment use are appropriate to the required competencies. Distance education can be as effective as traditional classroom education when the instructional methods, technologies, and assessments are well aligned with the learning objectives and required competencies. This alignment ensures the students can achieve the desired outcomes regardless of the delivery format. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 74. Which is not a characteristic of preventive discipline? Letter A. Reactive. Letter B. Inventive. Letter C. Proactive. Letter D. Anticipatory. You have 5 seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter A, reactive. Preventive discipline is characterized by being proactive, anticipatory, and inventive. It focuses on preventing problems before they arise 
by addressing potential issues and creating strategies to support positive behavior. Reactive discipline, on the other hand, deals with issues after they occur. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 75. Do parents have a role in curriculum implementation and instruction? Letter A. No, they have no formal training in pedagogy. Letter B. It depends on school, private, or public status. Letter C. Yes, but only in helping their children with school work. Letter D. Yes, they may provide insights on the curriculum. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter D. Yes, they may provide insights on the curriculum. Parents can play a crucial role in curriculum implementation and instruction by providing valuable insights and feedback based on their knowledge of their children's needs, experiences, and learning styles. Their involvement can help ensure that the curriculum is relevant and supportive of students' overall development. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 76. Which of the following is an acceptable initiative conductive to the teachers making a difference in achievement of new generations of the country's youth? Letter A, wearing of distinctive teachers' uniform. Letter B, greatest prestige in the community. Letter C, highest paid in the country. Letter D, quality teacher preparation. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter D, quality teacher preparation. Quality teacher preparation is essential for making a significant impact on the achievement of new generations. Well-prepared teachers are equipped with the knowledge, skills, and strategies necessary to effectively teach and inspire students, contributing to their academic success and overall development. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 77. Without abandoning other duties of the teacher, teacher Aya considers herself mainly as a facilitator by which her students become curious and discovers ideas on their own. This idea for a blank class. Letter A, teacher-centered. Letter B, lesson-centered. Letter C, student-centered. Letter D, activity-centered. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter C, student-centered. In a student-centered class, the teacher acts as a facilitator, guiding students as they explore, inquire, and discover ideas independently. This approach emphasizes active learning, critical thinking, and students' autonomy allowing students to take a more active role in their education. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 78. What technology integration is achieved by Teacher Nina when she encourages adaptation of tool-based software by allowing students to choose a tool and modify its use to accomplish tasks at hand? Letter A, transformation. Letter B, adoption. Letter C, infusion. Letter D, adaptation. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter D, adaptation. In the context of technology integration, Adaptation occurs when students are allowed to modify and personalize the use of technology tools to accomplish specific tasks. This approach reflects a more flexible and creative use of technology, where students can adjust tools to fit their learning needs. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 79, which is not the goal of true authority? Letter A, to set the examples for others. Letter B, to help from and guide others. 
letter D to coerce others to do what people in authority desired them to do. Letter D, bring out the best in others. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter C, to coerce others to do what people in authority desire them to do. True authority aims to inspire, guide, and support others rather than using coercion. It focuses on setting a positive example, helping and guiding and bringing out the best in people, rather than simply enforcing compliance through force or manipulation. Last question, question number 80. What does the traditional curriculum and mass education lack that the progressive curriculum can deliver? Letter A, rigid system upgrade. Letter B, value for individualization. Letter C, authoritarian role of the teacher. Or letter D, collective discipline. You have five seconds to choose your answer. The correct answer is letter B, value for individualization. Traditional curricula and mass education often emphasize a one-size-fits-all approach, which can overlook the unique needs and learning styles of individual students. In contrast, progressive curricula focus on individualization, aiming to tailor education to meet the diverse needs and interests of each student allowing for more personalized and effective learning experiences. That's 10 over 10. Nakakuha ba ng perfect score? Good luck!